Hello and welcome to Forgotten Temples, Cambodia. I'm at Wat Phnom Trang Ba. Well, I believe that's how you say it. There's no one here to ask. Well, I'm not exactly all alone because look at this. There is hundreds of these animal men. There's some of them are monkey men and others are sort of like bird men. And they go, all the way up this grand slope. Let me get out of the way here so you can see. And this is where we're off to today, up here towards the sky, because I've been here before and there's something really, really cool up here and it's unbelievably colourful. And if you need a bit of colour in your day, then you want to take my hand as we go up this path and see something really cool. Right, so here we go up that stairway and you've got to say it is really impressive, isn't it? I mean, look at us, flanked right and left by a literal legion of mythical creatures. And if that isn't enough, let's just pause and take in the beauty. For we have some autumnal leaves over here. We have this lovely green tree and it's just all very serene. Now what's at the top is well worth the climb. And what we'll see is an old temple, well an older temple and the new moderner moderner temple. But that awaits us at the crown of this hill. And as we rise over the crest with the final few steps, our prize comes into view. And this that is directly in front of us was the original temple. And it's quite a modest affair, isn't it? But it does give us a hint of why I've brought you up here. Although this is not it. It is worthy of note though. Here is Buddha sitting atop of the hill and some rather older paintings that have suffered through the test of time. Now this was the focus of all the attention but things have changed. Let us go out. And there it is, we step out and we see how exceedingly modest he is. And then we see this bedrock. We see these rocks and the actual boulders themselves, which have had to be hewed and carved to make them a little more accessible. And here, they've managed to get this enormous stone elephant, it's concrete in fact, um, up the top of this hill. And isn't he just majestic? I mean, look, he's trumpeting away, his uh, trunk is raised skywards, and in his trunk, he's delicately holding some lotus flowers. I think that's absolutely fab, but there's more to see because what we're aiming for is in here. Now up this last boulder we go, and this is our target reached. But there's something else in your screen. Have you noticed it? Yeah, it's this here. This is a footprint of Buddha. You see, this is literally his footprint with his toes at the end here. Now, I always like looking at these because of the writing that's inside, which always reminds me of Egyptian. I mean, look, there's a bird here, for instance. Uh, geometric shapes, geometric shape, geometric shape, and of course people. So it's not an awful far away from, from hieroglyphs, is it? But what we've come to see is in here. Now, this is absolutely incredible. Have a look at this art. And just a quick look out the doorway. I mean, this is where we are. We're up in the sky. And that little temple there has now, and on the rocks, you see, nothing's been really repaired. They have perched this new one. Now, I came here a couple of months ago and I actually saw the artist painting these. And I have been 
to more pagodas and so on than I can ever remember. And these, by far, categorically and absolutely, without any reservation, are the best paintings I've ever seen. I mean, the detail on them is quite simply outstanding. The workmanship is just shockingly good. I mean, they are huge. And the only real way that I can denote that to you is by the echo you're hearing. I mean, look at those colours. How vibrant can you get? These are just staggering. I, I, I'm having trouble with this one. I mean, one can go to an art gallery, as I often did as a young man. You know, the Tate Modern, maybe, or the Portrait Gallery, or wherever you wish to go. This is on par. Allow me to show you now my favourite one. Have a look at this. Look at the colours in that. And I'm going to hold the shot, and maybe you'd like to zoom in or something. But it is just beautiful. Look at the reflection on the water here. I mean, does that not look like a mythical land? The, the sort of thing of fairy tales and legends? That sort of place I would love to dive into and live because it all looks so serene. And maybe that's why I'm drawn to this one particularly. It's got that extra bit of fantasy for the land itself is totally mythical. And of course, it's not reserved only for the walls. This is the ceiling. I mean, wow, quite simply. I've never seen a better ceiling in my life, ever. And I honestly think dear old Leonardo da Vinci may have a point about technical aspects on this one, but I'm sure he would still be impressed. And last time I came here, I met the artist and I was very pleased to wave and nod at him. And look, he has just one panel to go. And here's another scene. Look at that lovely wooded area. And these royal and honorable people have come to respect Buddha and pass on his wishes. And these gentlemen with their beards and what look like, looks like wild beasts cloth. But what is very good with this guy's art is look, you see, see that river there? Is what that river does is it gives it depth. And he hasn't been stingy with the detail. So it's really worked. It's, it's brought Buddha and everyone else in forward into the forward frame because he's using depth very cleverly and he does it time and time again and allow me just to show you one more because this would be my second favorite because look at the detail again and it has our wonderful friend the elephant and yet again if you look under the elephant's trunk here Again, the artist is using that exact same trick to give depth and that gives that elephant that 3D sort of bringing him forward. But it's not just the elephant. If we look over here, look at these mighty horses and he has quite the look on his face, doesn't he? And if a horse could look reverent, he does somehow. And let's just scan across. It is such a beautiful piece of art and I particularly like the association with this background of that tumbling stream Buddha in his serenity and there's the elephant I mean have a look it is truly remarkable so there it is and by standing back here Hopefully, I'm giving you a little perspective because there's five of these enormous statues which also had to be lugged up that hill. So the modern Kamai is still amazing us with their graft and their 
incredible art. But as I say, this, without doubt, and I've lived here near 14 years, is the best modern temple I have ever seen. We're on top of this beautiful hill, and there's a lovely breeze going through, and it's so nice and peaceful. So, if you want to get out of town, you want to, I don't know, disconnect for a while, I would come here. It is wonderful. Now, we could say that you've also been here with me. So, if you have any comments about this place, please do let me know. And as always, like, subscribe, etc., etc. For this has been Mr. B at Forgotten Temples, Cambodia. And until next time, when I invite you to take my hand and go off to somewhere far, far away in an ancient land, I wish you nothing but the very best. Take good care.